NBC presents for your Tuesday night viewing pleasure, the Wednesday night movie. <laughs> Here is Breakfast for Three, starring Elky Summer, Jack Benny, and a missing person. Gee, it's my honeymoon. <laughs> I suppose I should tip you for carrying the bride across the threshold. Oh, oh no, Mac, forget it. You've done enough for me already. <laughs> Are you happy, darling? Oh, mm. darling, you know I am. You're the only man in the world for me. <laughs> mm. They don't call me blue eyes for nothing. <laughs> well... been another man in your life? Well, I told you about Robert, my first husband. It happened seven years ago, on our wedding night. He carried me across the threshold and then went duck hunting and never returned. Poor man, he went out to shoot our wedding breakfast. That's terrible. Yes. What did you do? I had cornflakes. <laughs> Gosh, it's like daytime television. <laughs> well, the man's legally dead, and you're my wife now. So, uh, hey, what is this, our wedding supper? Hmm? No, 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 don't you touch that. It's the breakfast I made for Robert that day. Wait a minute. You sure you've forgotten him? His picture is all over the place. His breakfast lying here for seven years. How do you account for that? Well, I guess I'm just a sloppy housekeeper. <laughs> well, I didn't marry you for your housekeeping. Mm -hmm. You put on the champagne while I slip into something more comfortable. All right, darling. <laughs> there, baby. Baby, fix these for breakfast, huh? And don't cook the decoy. That's how I broke my pivot tooth. Oh, come back. I can't believe it. Pinch me, pinch me. Not now, baby. After breakfast. <laughs> I'll get cleaned up. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Didn't you hear anything? No. Sometimes I think my mother must have been frightened by a pinball machine. I'll be back for breakfast in a minute. He's acting so strangely. Something terrible has happened to him. Uh, hello? Oh, hello, Dr. Myron. This is Elke. Yes, something terrible has happened. It's Robert. He's come back. Oh, you poor dear. But, Doctor, he doesn't realize that seven years have passed. He thinks he's only been away a few hours. Amnesia. Now, you act as though nothing has changed. Any severe emotional shock could have serious consequences. I'll come thank as quickly as possible. Yes, thank you very much, Doctor. No emotional shock. Oh, dear, what I'll do about Jack? Here I am, sweetheart. And I'm all yours. Oh, yes, Kiss darling. Me. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Darling, would you go over, please, to the neighbors and borrow some sugar, would you please? Yes, neighbors. In my bathroom? No, in a cup. <laughs> no, no, go on. Some sugar, yes. Oh, ah, our wedding breakfast. Yes. Oh, boy. And you made it with your own little hands, huh? Wait, 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 wait. You can't eat that. Oh, don't worry. I'm not expecting the first thing you ever cooked to be perfect. Oh, hot cakes. <laughs> with powdered maple syrup? <laughs> oh, that's well. And look at this. Fried pork sausages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
These aren't fried, they're welded. <laughs> is this a, uh, is this a meal or a stomach acid commercial? <laughs> Here you are, darling. Here's the sugar. Oh, yes. Now, now, Thank you, darling. How... Now, darling, go and get me some eggs. Two eggs is enough. Yes, to the neighbor. Eggs? Yes, eggs. Little round eggs. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, that, that was the delivery boy. Yes, he works for the grocer. Mm -hmm. Sounds to me like he's going into business for himself. <laughs> now, Robert, you don't understand. You can say that again. Funny, there are some things I just can't remember. Well, you mustn't tax yourself, dear. You have been under great strain. Are you keeping a goat in the washing machine? <laughs> didn't you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything, darling. But don't be frightened. Dr. Myron will be here soon. Dr. Myron, he's a psychiatrist. There's nothing wrong with my mind. <laughs> There's just something loose in my head. Now, my darling, now lie down on the couch and I'll make you comfortable. Yes, there we go. Nicely, yes. Here are the eggs. I got the eggs. That's there sweet, you darling. Are. Now you go and get some flour, my sweetheart. Now, sweet wait a minute. It's our honeymoon. Who did I marry, Betty Crocker? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Who's he? Oh, well, you see, he, he is, uh, he's the man who came to fix the television set, yes. In his bathrobe? <laughs> wait a minute. Who's he? Well, this is Robert, my husband. Your husband? He can't be. It's ridiculous. It's impossible. You think he's upset now? Wait till he finds out we don't have a television set. <laughs> now, you see, my husband isn't, isn't well at all. And he mustn't have any shock. The doctor's on his way over. So please try to understand, Jack. Look, I don't want to see that quack. He's got the same prescription for everything. Take two aspirins and call me in the morning. <laughs> Come in. Oh, Dr. Myron. Now, Robert, you remember Dr. Myron? Oh, of course. How are you, doctor? Uh, not too good. I uh, haven't been feeling myself lately. <laughs> really? What's wrong? I don't know. My back's been bothering me. I get dizzy spells and uh, peculiar headaches. There goes again. Do you ever get that feeling? Yeah, but mine has a cowbell in it. <laughs> Sit down, my boy. Oh, what I have to tell you may uh, come as something of a shock, but it may serve to uh, restore your memory. My memory? Yes. Seven years ago, right after your wedding ceremony, you disappeared. And since then, your wife has married another man. Elkie, is this true? Yes, I'm afraid it is, Robert. This is my husband now. And listen, could we please get on with the honeymoon? I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> no, it can't be. This is impossible. My bride in the arms of another husband. What do I do now, doctor? You know, take two aspirins and call me in the morning. <laughs> well, there's only one way to settle this, Alki. You've got to choose between us. Oh. Well, Jack, I thought I loved you, but my heart has always been with Robert. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Take two aspirins and call me in the morning. <laughs> Give me the gun. At least I'll go hunting for ducks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. A buck and a half shot for a diamond ring. <laughs> We'll be so happy together. We'll start all over again. Yeah. I'll go now and get you your slippers. All right. Boy, if I could only remember how I spent those seven years. If I could only remember. Shall I bring your pipe too, darling? Oh, 
Where are you going? I'm going hunting. But why? Have you recovered your memory? No, but I've got a strong hunch those were the best years of my life. 